A museum in New York is facing backlash after a white candidate was appointed as curator of its African art exhibit. Even though the woman has a PhD in African, African art history and previously had experience in similar projects, many have questioned why the Brooklyn Museum didn't hire a person of color for the job. The museum has defended its choice, saying it is continuing to work on equality issues and will take all concerns into account. We asked legal commentator Horace Cooper and Jane Indigo, writer and activist, for their thoughts on the issue. There have yet to be any, any coverage that suggests that there's anything wrong with this person's skills or talents or capabilities. The only thing anyone has been looking at are race or skin color and that's shameful the point is that there are very few opportunities these opportunities case. are very very small you have you have people who have people in our community have it's not have about passion for these arenas where there are that where there are very few opportunities for those young people to be able to even be a, to even have the courage to study in these arenas because they know that they're not even going to be considered for these opportunities we absolutely should not be trying to say <laughs> <laughs> Certain positions should be, quote, prioritized. We are not going to be excited or even withholding our disgust around the op around people forgetting to give us the opportunities that at least make the most sense to fall towards us. Racial segregation circa 1955 said certain positions, certain duties, certain functions could be assigned on the basis of race. If we're doing that in two 2018, we might as well forget a national holiday for Martin Luther King. Meanwhile, there's another race controversy making headlines in the U.S. Video of a school performance in the U.S. city of Atlanta has gone viral, showing children reading a poem to mark Black History Month. Some viewers may find the following video offensive. children are shown wearing black face masks while reciting a poem by a 19th century African-American author about racial oppression. It has sparked outrage among parents and online. The school has issued an apology saying the decision was wrong and it promised to make sure that teachers were educated on cultural issues. We got the opinion of our guests once again. The idea that the only way to stop an idiot from recommending that children put on blackface is to place black people in positions of supervisory authority fails to appreciate the significance of the error that occurred here. Putting idea people in positions have... that actually know what people are going through in these communities and can represent that, that perspective so that, that you don't have just one supremacist perspective that is overseeing this process but you have a diversity of perspectives and that include the people who you are expecting to be honoring or teaching or developing.